Lesson 67, using ratios to compare. So, uh, if some of you remember a video we did a little while ago, well, not a little while ago, a day or two, it's two a couple days ago, I, in, I think it was lesson 63, maybe? I, I can't remember. Uh, we recently did a lesson on changing rates. <clears throat> and one of the problems we had to do was, uh, or one of the problems you've been doing, is you've been trying to figure out how to uh, show how much a rate changed. And if you remember for that one, I told you the trick was to compare the two rates and then make the time one. Okay, so now we're going to be using ratios to compare. It's very similar to that lesson. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll just jump right into a practice problem and I'll show you how to get it done. So it says if 20 pounds of beans sold for $1.20, what was the price per pound of beans? Ah, okay. So all I have to do in this one is I write the ratio 20 pounds of beans for the dollar amount. And if I have to find price per pound of beans, I have to make that 20 reduced to one. So let's go and write our ratio 20 over $1.20. <clears throat> I've got 20 beans over $1.20. And this is the number I have to reduce to one. So how many times will 20 go into 120? That's what I got to figure out. I can do that division pretty quickly by seeing that uh, two, uh, I can kind of cancel out the zeros and two goes into 12 six times. Uh, so 20 will go into $1.26. So uh, when I take the uh, number of pounds of beans down to one pound of beans, uh, the value will then be at six cents. I feel like that's the sloppy, the, the, that's just, that's poor writing. I need to do better. <clears throat> yeah, so when we divide them both by 20, that becomes one pound of beans over six cents. That That's much better. Yeah, that's a final answer. There we go. Great. Uh, and so now I know the price per pound of beans. Uh, the other way we can do this is we can compare costs. Uh, so this is something that you'll see in grocery stores, and a lot of, oftentimes they'll, uh, they'll do the math for you, but sometimes they make mistakes. So if you know how to do this, you can always check and find out if the grocer is making a mistake. Uh, but example two, the big can held 16 ounces and cost 80 cents. The small can held 12 ounces and cost 72 cents. Which can was the better buy? So which one gives you more bang for your buck? <clears throat> so let's write these two ratios and then we'll compare them. <clears throat> let's see here. We've got the big can weighing in at 16 ounces for 80 cents. I'm just going to use that for cents. That's faster. Uh, and then I've got the small can weighing in at 12 ounces for 72 cents. All right. Let's see which one is the better deal. I forgot to put my abbreviations for ounces. <clears throat> so the way we're going to do this is we're going to break it down by cost per ounce. One thing you may be noticing is when we're using these ratios and prices, uh, we're not changing the dollar sign or well, we're not trying to convert the dollar sign down to one cent. Uh, we're changing the unit down to one unit to find out how many cents a single unit costs. So on these ones, I'm going to reduce uh, 16 and 80 by 16 and then 12 and 72 by 12. Cool thing is I know exactly how many times 12 goes into 72. Uh, that is going to be six times. So uh, I know over here, one ounce is going to be six cents now 16 into 80 that's not one i know off the top of my head because that's not a times table that i've ever had to memorize uh so let's just go ahead and divide mm -hmm. oh i have to guess okay let's use some camera magic rule ta-da i figured it out first try uh never mind that six uh 16 goes into 85 times so this reduces to one ounce for five cents so uh over here the big can costs five cents an ounce the small can costs 12 cents an ounce which one is the better buy the big can is because that is cheaper so <clears throat> again I, like i said it's just like that previous lesson where we're reducing uh, a unit down to one uh, in this case the unit we're reducing is going to be these uh, if you have any questions let me know on the school website and that's all i've got for this lesson